My name is Mike Rayner and I work for eWrench.com. This video is about how to clone a VirtualBox virtual machine. Cloning is the process of copying a virtual machine and automatically creating new UUIDs or universally unique identifiers for both the virtual machine and the virtual machine hard drive. The Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager uses these UUIDs to keep track of all the virtual machines and keep them separate. With the introduction of VirtualBox 4.1, it has become relatively easy to clone one of your virtual machines. Previously, you had to use a command line interface to clone a virtual machine. If you have not upgraded to version 4.12, you will need to do so in order to make sense of these directions. To check what version you have, click on the Help About VirtualBox and check your version number right here. The first step in cloning a virtual machine is to select the virtual machine you wish to clone. In this case, we will clone Baseuntu 01, right click, key in on clone. It says you get a wizard. Welcome to the virtual machine clone wizard. Come up with your name for your new virtual machine. In this case, since we start off with Baseuntu 01, this will be base Ubuntu 02. Also click on reinitialize a MAC address of all network cards. This will give you a new MAC address for your virtual machine and it will keep your machines from getting uh, confused when they try and uh, hook into the internet. Then click next. We're going to do a full clone. This is going to be a completely separate virtual machine. Click on clone. It will trundle for a while. It may trundle for a few minutes. You're, it's basically copying both your virtual machine XML file and your virtual machine hard drive. And simply wait until it's done. Essentially a good idea is to have one basic virtual machine and then make copies of this basic and uh, put in different configuration of different types of software. That way if it crashes then you still have your basic machine. Of course after your machine is closed you will have to change the host name. This video will show you how to change an Ubuntu host name. If you're uh, cloning a Windows, you go to Computer, My Computer, Computer Name, and change it there. Eventually, your cloning configuration wizard will stop running, and a new virtual machine will pop up in your Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. Here it is, Base Bento 02. Now that we have a clone, we'll need to change its host name. This is done to allow different computers to talk to each other without confusion setting in. In order to do this, we will have to start the, virtu the clone virtual machine and log on. In this case, this is an Ubuntu virtual machine. It goes through a few contortions before it gets to the correct uh, screen size. Enter your password. Log in. Now your host name is located in two files, etc host and etc host name. For making to change these files, smart to back up both files using a terminal window. To do this, we go to Applications, Accessories, Terminal. We have to increase our permissions from the user to use sudo. So we type that in. sudo cp for copy etc 
hosts and we're going to copy that and make a, a backup file for it. etc hosts dot bck backup. Ask for your password. It's copied. So again we're going to copy the other. etc host name to etc host name dot bckup. Now of course we would like to check ourselves so we go to cd etc do a list ls and here we have host name backup and here we have hosts backup go back to our terminal window And now we are going to use the nano text editor to change our host names. We'll open up the hosts file first, sudo nano hosts. And just go to this one line where it says base bin to 01. Type in 02. I'm going to exit. Control X. Say modify buffer, answering no will destroy changes. We're going to put in a Y. Full name to write host. Just hit enter. And now it's changed. To check ourselves, sudo. Again, enter the same command, and you'll see that it's changed. In this case, we're going to control X to exit again. So now we're going to sudo nano host name and change this to O2. Control X, Y for yes, host name, hit enter. And if we want to check ourselves, we go to host name. There it is. Control X. Exit the editor. And essentially all we have to do now is restart it. Sure you want to restart. trundles along and restarts. And when we start it, you'll notice that it says Base Ubuntu 02. And you can log in. And it would be a good idea to check and make sure that you're It would be a good idea to check and make sure that your uh, internet connection is working. And there it is. It's working. So let's close. And that is how to clone an Ubuntu virtual machine in VirtualBox.